eternity with the master. You know that eternity is spent in one way or the other. You're either eternally going to spend your life with the Lord or you are eternally damned because you refuse to recognize who Jesus is. Thank God for this text because some of us need to get our minds right. Some still think we run the show. The show can't run without us. If we're not here, they got to wait on us. But I stand by to tell you, God don't need you. He don't need me. He can use who and what he wants to use. If you don't praise him, he'll allow the rocks to cry. I don't want no rocks crying out for me. Here. In the text, Jesus realized that they had to get their minds right, and Jesus, the Bible said that he was praying. That's good news for me because it allowed me to realize not only how powerful prayer is, but how Jesus even had a regularity of prayer. And many of you don't exercise prayer. You uh, call yourself praying when you have a plate of food in front of you, but really many of you are just going through vain repetition, but I stop by to tell you, you better wake up and recognize because even that plate of food has assemblings of the Lord because by way of him, had he not allowed the plate to be in front of you, you might be in a starving land, but I thank God for the psalmist. The psalmist said, I was young, but now I'm old. Never have I seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed beg for bread. Oh, I thank God for this text because a light switch has to go off in order for you to make it fall. <clears throat> ah, Jesus, he, he was praying and his disciples were there and I thank God for them because of time Jesus is teaching lessons to them that are close to him because he realized that empowerment is powerful. If we want to continue to allow our family to continue to move forward, we have to empower those who are around us. And it happens when you pour your life into them. Every now and then, you've got to forget about yourself, concentrate on him that you might be able to empower them. Bible said Jesus had a, a, a request for them. We have a request from the Lord. And Jesus said, y'all been spending time with me. You seen me turn the water into wine. You have been spending time with me. You know you were with me when the lady came that had an issue of blood for 12 long years and she pressed her way through the crowd just so she can have an opportunity to touch just the hem of my yaw when the little lad had two fish and five loaves of bread and the folk were hungry and I, I, I just prayed unto heaven and the two fish and five loaves fed the multitude and there were twelve baskets left over. Don't forget about them because I didn't forget about y'all. There were 12 baskets. There are 12 of y'all. What I'm trying to tell you is I am a God that provides. There is no secret for what God can do. What God has done for others. God can do the same thing. Of whom do men say uh, you know, we got a lot of titles for the Lord. Uh, uh, some say he's the door. Some say he is the good shepherd. Some uh, say that he's Joseph's son. Some say that he's Mary's. Uh, what do they say? Well, Jesus, because you have made this request of us, uh, we need to tell you what they're saying. Uh, help me somebody about you. So Jesus, because you asked the question, let us give you what the rumor report is. Let us give you what Street Beat is saying. Let us tell you even in the 20th 
first century, what they putting on Facebook, what they're tweeting out there on Twitter and Instagram. Jesus, because you ask, you need to know because you're God all by you. Some say you, John the Baptist, some Elias, and some say you one of the old prophets you got up again. Now, I, I've got news for somebody. If they thought that he had the ability to get up again, why could not they accept him for who he is? I gotta say who he is because he never was. He was here before here, got here. Help me somebody. He's the perfect lamb of God that came to take away the sins of the world. He is he who knew no sin that became sin for us that we might become the righteousness of God. He is the sinless son of man that became sin for men that sinful men might become beloved sons of God. Uh, Jesus, this is what they're saying, and, and I need to park right there because somebody on their way to heaven needs to understand, uh, regardless of what people say about you, that does not dictate who you are. Who you are has to do with who you're in. Somebody missed you, so let me help you. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things have passed away. Oh, all things have become new. A lot of folk tell you who you are when they tell you you going to be just like your mama. You ain't nothing. Your mama wasn't nothing. Your daddy ain't nothing. But I stop by to tell somebody I'm a king's kid and I can do anything but fail because of who my daddy is. No weapon formed against me can prosper. What shall we say to these things if God be for us? Uh, uh, Jesus, he, he, he's trying to empower them, but he had to do it by asking them a question. Uh, uh, this is for everybody that's in this house because you need to answer life question if you're going to be able to move forward, pass, go, collect $200 for the younger generation that comes from the game called Monopoly. Y'all don't know nothing about that because you're living in the 21st century. You millennials and Gen Xs, you don't know nothing about that because you were born with a silver spoon in your mouth. Help me somebody if you can. He said unto them, I know what they putting on Facebook because uh, because before the person who invented Facebook was ever born, I know him. I know what they're putting on Twitter because before the tweet ever came out, I knew what the tweet was. I know what they're putting on Instagram because before they made the device called cell phone and it had disturbed society. I, saw it before it ever showed up on the scene, but I ain't worried about them. Help me somebody, because you are the ones that's going to have to turn the world upside down. You're the one that the, I will call the light of the world. You're the one that are supposed to be a glimmer of hope for those who are lost and on their way to hell. You're the one that are the ecclesia, the call out ones who have passed from darkness unto the marvelous. You are the one that will be sitting in the pew on the first Sunday, 2021, December, uh, in the first community, Antioch Baptist Church, who I'm depending on, on tomorrow for you to share the good news of Jesus with somebody. It's all about what you have grasped. Uh, Jesus said to them, but whom? I ain't worried about street beat. I, I'm not worried about the religious leaders, which comprise of the elders, the priests, the scribes. I'm worried about you. 
home. Before you answer that question, you need to know that the original question was asked by Jesus, not because he had an identity crisis. I need to say that because uh, many of us live our lives and we live our lives through the scope of being somebody else because we have an identity crisis. I, I need to say that because somebody's still trying to figure out who they are. Oh, I need